Hi students, I am Pawan, your science master. Today I am going to talk to 7th standard students. Today I am going to talk about um, egg to cocoon stage of the sericulture process. Egg to cocoon stage of the sericulture process. And what is the lesson name? What is the lesson name? Animal fiber. And what are we going to learn in this video? Egg to cocoon. Okay, students. And in the last videos, we have talked about in the last video we have talked about moth to egg. You know how the moth moth is nothing but it's a butterfly or silk moth. Okay. Eggs are nothing but what? Seeds. The eggs are laid by the moths and these moths given an environment which is suitable to grow and lay eggs and all and the eggs are sold. Okay, the, some people from different areas they come and purchase these eggs as well and this uh, egg, these eggs or seed or seed growing center is called grainage center or grainages okay where is this grainage center located in our state in andhra pradesh horsley hills in chittoor district okay grainage centers are located in horsley hills in chittoor district okay students and after the eggs are hatched you know the eggs are hatched a worm comes out right that what is that what is the worm we call that as silk worm or caterpillar okay we call that as caterpillar students in this video we are talking about egg to cocoon right and how egg gets transformed you know what is the condition provided to the eggs you know the after hatching the eggs what comes out a worm comes out right these worms are called caterpillars these worms are called caterpillars and these caterpillars are left on where chopped mulberry leaves okay caterpillars are left on chopped mulberry leaves you know mulberry leaves <sighs> we get mulberry leaves from mulberry plants and how mulberry plants are grown mulberry plants are grown by cuttings okay cutting twigs we have to cut a small branch of the tree or plant and we have to sew it okay cutting twigs and the leaves of the mulberry plant are chopped chopped means to cut small pieces to cut what small pieces okay here these caterpillars are left on cut or chopped mulberry leaves and they are left for 30 to 35 days on it okay and these caterpillars keep on eating the mulberry leaves and they become very fat okay the environment should be clean and neat and the environment of the place where these caterpillars are grown should be maintained very hygienic conditions okay and they 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 are left in light okay they are left the light should be there for 24 hours and then the caterpillars are not given rest and they are you know they don't go rest actually they keep on eating and they become very fat after few days what happens they become very big in size and then they cannot move you know 
a fat person if you see how the person struggles to move from one place to another same like that this caterpillars also after they become big in size they cannot move they settle in a particular place okay and after they settle in a particular place they are transferred after they become big size big size caterpillars big size caterpillars are transferred to cane chambers okay called they are called cocoonages cocoonages or chandrikalu in our local language we call them as chandrikalu at this stage okay at this stage we call them as chandrikalu they cannot move they should be transferred from the place where they they are settled to cane chambers okay at this stage they are called cocoonages or chandrikalu okay students this chandrikalu or cocoonages they cannot move and they secrete <coughs> saliva from its mouth to hold the place firmly okay to hold what to hold the place where they settled they secrete saliva from its mouth to settle in that particular place and it also weaves a net around its body it weaves what a net like structure around the body chandrikalu they secrete saliva and they weave a net around its body and it also holds the place by the saliva how the caterpillar or how the chandrikalu or cocoonages weave a net around its body okay it moves its mouth side by side and the process the the gland salivary glands in its mouth get stimulated and uh, the saliva is secreted from its mouth as soon as saliva comes out of its mouth gets uh, reacted with the oxygen or air and that becomes hard okay what happens as soon as the saliva is secreted from its mouth that becomes hardened that becomes what hard saliva becomes what hard it, as soon as this becomes hard that looks like a thread that looks like what thread that's a fine thread and that becomes hard around the body of body of what body of cocoonages or caterpillar okay body of caterpillar so soon it covers whole the body you know the body is covered completely covered by the hardened saliva okay as soon as the saliva is secreted from its mouth that becomes hard that hardened saliva covers whole the body you know it rolls its body and covers complete body okay after it is covered that stage is called what cocoon okay that stage is called what cocoon this is about egg to cocoon in this you know the egg gets hatched the hatched egg gives a worm that's nothing but caterpillar and the caterpillars are taken care in special rooms or special chambers by uh, on on tubed 
um, unchurbed mulberry leaves they are left unchurbed mulberry leaves and then caterpillars they are very active and physically they are very active and they keep on eating what that cut small pieces or chirped mulberry leaves and soon they are left for 30 to 35 days and after 30 or 35 30 to 35 days that you know becomes very fat big in size and then that cannot move and that settles in a particular place meanwhile it moves its mouth side by side and secrete is secrete a substance that a protein substance you know from its body that is uh, secreted by its mouth as soon as that comes out from its body that becomes hard okay and like this that becomes like a thread it covers whole the body of big size caterpillar and after the whole body is covered you cannot see the caterpillar then you cannot see that caterpillar that is completely covered by the saliva hardened saliva okay that stage of that caterpillar is called cocoon okay that stage of the caterpillar is called as cocoon cocoons are also called as pattukayalu in our local language we call that as pattukayalu students cocoons are nothing but what pattukayalu this is how pattukayalu are produced by the caterpillar and the next level after these cocoons are produced they are processed they are you know they are uh, treated with some chemicals and they are boiled and what do we call boiling of cocoons and all we will study in the next class students okay uh, students this is uh, for today and uh, you please write what you have learnt so far you have to write in your notebook in step by step in your own way the way you understand okay and in the next class we will be studying about the next step or next stage of sericulture process okay thank you for listening thank you one and all